Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. Aftershocks are being felt across Wellington following an earthquake near the New Zealand capital. It comes as the country is grappling with the aftermath of Cyclone Gabrielle, with authorities describing it as the most destructive weather event in decades. A child is among the four people confirmed dead. New Zealand Prime Minister Chris Hipkins offering his condolences to the families. In particular, I want to acknowledge the family of the volunteer firefighter in Muriwai whose body was recovered today. He lost his life protecting others in his community and our thoughts are with his loved ones. There's still no sign of two miners unaccounted for after a zinc mine collapse near Mount Isa in Queensland. A 30-ton drill rig fell 25 metres into a pit, burying a ute under rock and debris. Stacey Schinnell from the Australian Workers' Union says it sent shockwaves through the entire industry. The unknown is always going to haunt you. What little information we have is gravely concerning. We are still very hopeful that there will be a good outcome for these workers. Overseas, Nicola Sturgeon has quit as Scotland's First Minister. It follows eight years in office. She's the first female in the role and the longest serving leader. She says she's been wrestling with the decision for weeks. And my judgment now is that a new leader will be better able to do this. Someone about whom the mind of almost everyone in the country is not already made up for better or worse. Ukraine's allies have made new pledges of support for the country. Moscow has intensified attacks in recent weeks. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says increasing ammunition production for Ukraine is critical at this time. This is now becoming a grinding war of attrition and a war of attrition is a war of logistics and therefore this is so crucial for our ability to ensure that Ukraine wins. And if the cost of living crisis has put a strain on your relationship, you're not alone. One in five Aussies says financial woes have affected their relationship over the past 12 months. 3% claim to have ended a relationship to avoid extra spending. To sport now, Mitch Stark and Cameron Green are in a race against time to prove their fitness ahead of the second test against India. Stark says he's feeling pretty good though. Still a good chance. It'll come down to how it reacts by the end of the day, how the medical staff see it, how the selectors and, and Pat and Ronnie feel about it as well. So I'll do everything I can to be avail- fully available for selection. Germany has beaten the Hockey Roos in a penalty shootout at the Hockey Pro League in Sydney. And Toby Green has been named a sole captain for GWS this AFL season. And in entertainment news, Forbes has released its list of highest paid entertainers for 2022. Topping the list is rock band Genesis, bringing in $230 million. Sting came in second, earning $210 million. Both recently sold back catalogues. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.